Ryan, be very careful with what you say next. Just oh! Go! Oh! All right, real quick, I gotta give a shout out to our partner for this video today, Bumble. The Bumble app is innovating in ways like none other. Not only is it one of the most popular dating apps out today, but they also got new special features such as virtual dates, which are especially made for people who are staying at home. You can meet the person first, before seeing them in person. And that also helps with the whole awkwardness of a first date and everything. Also check out Bumble BFF if you guys are just looking to meet friends. And they even have Bumble Biz, which is just for networking and meeting mentors. So if you guys download the Bumble app at the link in the description down below, you can shoot your shot today, guys. It is free, it's super easy to use. And thank you Bumble for being a partner today. Enjoy the rest of this video. What's going on everybody? Welcome to another epic fried chicken battle. We are going to be deciding which fast food chain has the best chicken tenders of them all? Woo! Woo! David, who are our competitors on this side? We've got KFC, Chick-fil-A, Popeyes, and Carl's Jr. Oh, oh so man, so we got Jack in the Box over here, we okay. got Churches, and okay. then we got the Asian representative, Jollibee's right here. And yes, by the way, I am wearing a GoPro on my chest. If uh, you guys like any of the shots that we use from this, make sure to hit that like button, click subscribe, and turn on your notifications for Woo! the algorithm. This is a KFC Hallmark, the pepper. Extra crispy tenders from KFC. The flavors there, you can get mm -hmm. the seasoning in the breading. If you guys like salty tenders, so pretty salty. Let's try with the finger licking good Ooh. sauce. Well, that's a game changer for me because it adds that little bit of moistness that the dried chicken needed. It kind of gives me like pickle vibes for some reason. It does, it has like yeah. a relish flavor to it. I prefer the KFC tender without the sauce. I've never liked Thousand Island. The flavor profile is really from the 1950s. And we all know the KFC demographic. You're talking about the boomers people, here. People look like Colonel Sanders who go to KFC. Uh, <laughs> all right. I, and I really don't like the animal style fries. If you get the animal style fries, oh my God. Overall, I give them a three. I give this a 3.5 out of five. I'm gonna go two. Guys, the next competitor up, we have is it Chick-fil-A or Chick-fil-A? Immediately, it just looks way darker and just, I don't know, almost like overcooked. A lot of people will stand by Chick-fil-A as having the best fast food chicken. I didn't always agree, but I'm gonna try to come in here, no bias. Chick-fil-A, chicken tenders. Mm. Oh, that's way more tender than KFC. Way more tender. It's not flaky breading. It's not flaky at all. Yeah, it's a little bit more puffy, a little bit more chewy. All right, you guys, we gotta try with the sauce. I'll say this. The chicken quality's there. All right, I'm gonna try the uh, Polynesian sauce right here. For me, for me, chicken quality was a notch up. Flavor was a notch down. For a combined score of three, I'm going with four. That was definitely significantly better than the KFC one. 3.5. I like the quality of the chicken, and I think it's a good standard bearer. If it's gonna be better, it has to be better than Chick-fil-A. Next competitor, we have the fried chicken juggernaut, Popeyes. Woo! Man. Expectations are high for this one, so man. One seed. With high expectations can also come high disappointment. This is definitely what I'm looking for in a chicken tender. The two sauces that you really get with the tenders are the buttermilk ranch and then blackened ranch. Popeyes chicken tenders without sauce. Mm. Mm. Really strong buttermilk flavors. Very strong buttermilk, very flaky, very crunchy. I kind of like it without sauce. I know what you mean. I can't say enough good things about this. Oh this, man, this good. blows away the competition so far. You guys kidding me, man? You guys were not disappointed at all? No. No. Really? Really? It had all the flavor you wanted. Yeah. It was not too salty. That The way that chicken was cut in the short way you liked, I was not impressed. I'm not saying it was bad. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't impressive. I, I, give, I give it a 4.5. I'm also going to give Popeyes a 4. It's a 4 out of 5. It did not, <laughs> it was not clearly better than Chick-fil-A in my opinion. Next up, we've got Carl's Jr. Dude, Listen, what? they so do not specialize in chicken, they put it in the Angus Burger <laughs> box. So I've, I've actually never had uh, Carl's Jr. before. Okay. Really? Like just straight Ever. up? Never had the urge to be like, oh, let me get some Carl's Jr. Looks different, I would say for sure. Carl's Jr. Chicken Tender. Hmm. 
See, at first I got hit with a chicken, which was like, okay. And then it was just a lot of bread. You know, the weird thing is there's nothing really bad about this, but there's seriously nothing really good about yeah. it at all. It's just very lukewarm. Try it in with the barbecue sauce, let's see. It wasn't bad. It's not bad, but it's not good. Clearly, they don't specialize in this product. I'm gonna just have to go out and give it a 2.5. I give it a 3.5. What? I just, I really was not feeling KFCs. This, what? 2.5. <sighs> 2.5. You know what it is though? What? It wouldn't be bad at like 3.30 in the morning though. I think it'd still be bad at 3.30 in the morning, bro. Coming in at number five, we got Jack in the Box. I think a lot of people weren't even aware that Jack in the Box had tenders. Jack, Jack in the Box. Yeah, uh-uh. Oh, I need to spit that out. I bit into it, and yeah, it that's... was hard. I gotta try it with the barbecue sauce. Give it a two. 2.5. Wow. A, I'm gonna give it a one. I, I don't know. I could just see Jack in the Box just throwing that on the menu for, you know, the late night stoners that roll through. Get a bunch of tacos. Oh, let me get some tenders too. I, I do think a lot of time when people eat Jack in the Box, they're not fully like. In the oh, right state of mind. Sober, yeah. yeah. Anyways, <laughs> coming up next at number six, we got Church's Chicken. I would say the church's most often gets compared with Popeye's. This looks a lot like Popeye's chicken. It's kind of it, like does, it does not break the same way. No. And it doesn't have the same bounce. Dude, mine's even pink. Church is tender. It's pretty good. I do like the breading on it. I think it's crunchy. Kind of tasty. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like the creamy jalapeno. Mm -mm. I kind of like oh, it. Ew. Oh, no. I'm no. weird. No. I'm weird. There's some elements you love from churches, whether it's the breading, the biscuits, and then the chicken quality is always a big oh, yeah. L for me. Yeah. I gotta go with 2.5. Oh, Think about it, guys. We could not even eat the first piece we got I because mean, it was pink. I mean, that's, I, that is a huge mm. violation. I had a different experience. I happened to get the normal piece of chicken and I thought it was actually pretty good. I'm giving it a 3.5. I got a little caught up in the hysteria of the pink chicken. If I'm gonna go off the, the taste of the chicken, I'll give it to my butt. I had a good piece. Our last competitor, we have the Jollibee's Chicken Dippers. Wow. Ooh. Visually, this looks a lot like Popeyes, except the flakes and the crunch is a little bit smaller. Jollibee's Chicken Dippers. I think the flavor's there. I like the breading. Jollibee kind of let me down on the moisture in the chicken. It's kind of dry. Here we have honey mustard. It has this saltiness that's like a little unidentified. I'm, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of it. You know what, let's dip it in the gravy. That makes sense. Wow. I'm Overall, I give it a... Um, Man, with that gravy. You know what, I'm just gonna give it a four. I'm giving it a 3.5 because my expectations for Jollibee are a lot higher than a, some of the other ones. I do love Jollibee's like spicy chicken. Yeah, yeah. okay. That's no, you point. love it. You love Jollibee's spicy chicken. I do, like it's really good. You stood by it. You I almost, did. you were willing to. I but, still but, but, stand by it to this day. I thought it was pretty solid, I'll give it a four. I mean, that was pretty good. It met my expectation. All right, guys, that wraps up round one. Woo! Woo! All right, everybody, we are on to our final round. Here are our top three <clears throat> competitors. Chick-fil-A. A good, nice three. Christian chicken. Jollibee's and Popeyes. However, for myself, what I'm gonna be. What, what, what do you mean for yourself? I got the wild card. KFC. I think with the Jollibee's gravy, this KFC is gonna be fire. David is convinced that if he dips the KFC in the Jollibee's gravy, don't lie and don't don't overreact. <laughs> don't you overreact here? You know how salty this thing is. You know how salty <laughs> the gravy is. I was wrong. <laughs> Sometimes the wild card doesn't work out. Guys. Uh. I think we could have predicted that it was gonna come down to these three. Chick-fil-A is famous for having high quality. Jollibee is, is this newcomer in the game, young, hungry, really coming at chicken and food in general from a whole nother angle. Boom, Popeyes is sort of like the Duke. I think we gotta go Chick-fil-A versus Jollibee's first. Is a, gonna be a really close matchup. I honestly think Popeyes is in a class of its own right now. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna reserve my judgment for the, for the championship. Chick-fil-A by itself, round two. I'm generally not that big in a Chick-fil-A's like mushy breading, but the chicken quality might be the highest. I'm gonna amend my rating to bump up Chick-fil-A to a four. This is some good chicken. Not usually a Chick-fil-A guy. But that chicken tender is the moistest, mm. softest, 
most tender chicken piece we had today. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm just putting it out there. I don't like the spices. In fact, there's a lack of spice. Second competitor of the final round, Jollibee's. You can get white rice on the side. Jollibee's. It's like difficult to think about because it's so different. With the gravy, that's easily better than Chick-fil-A. Easily with the gravy. That is oh, easily oh, better than Chick-fil-A. Take away the gravy. Without the gravy, it doesn't really stand on its own for me. I think chicken for chicken, Chick-fil-A edges it out a little bit. I so did not like the flavoring on the Chick-fil-A. I'm going with Jollibee's. You I just lost. Did. No. That's two to one. We picked Chick-fil-A. You have, have to, to roll the with L. the majority. Yo, you guys in the final championship, we've got LSU and TCU. Ah. This is what you live for, baby. The chicken tender what? championship. Take it to the half, take it to the half. Boom, 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 boom. Oh man, I think Popeyes, I mean, it looks like the commercial. Popeyes chicken tenders. Man, that peeled pretty easily, I gotta say. The Popeyes didn't keep that well, but if it was fresh, I'm definitely taking that over Chick-fil-A. Hands down, if it was fresh, it's not even close. Ryan, be very careful with what you say next. This Chick-fil-A is Right like now. That. Right now. This Chick-fil-A is like going to the grocery market, like Whole Foods, and getting some chicken and making it yourself. Like it's a home style kind of chicken nugget. Popeyes, it's something I can only get at Popeyes and it tastes like Popeyes too. What does that mean, Ryan? What are you trying to say? Just say it. This is better. Wow. The, the Chick-fil-A is better. Wow. It's a better quality chicken. It tastes better wow, to me. Wow, guys. This just tastes like Popeyes. It doesn't taste like good chicken. Close. Give it a Chick-fil-A. Oh! 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 Chick-fil-A, because they do not even serve chicken on the bone, might specialize in this, like, I guess, ultra basic style of chicken more. Though I feel like with Popeyes, they try to dress up the chicken with all the breading, all the spices and everything. And the Chick-fil-A, what I appreciate about them is they're like, look at the quality of our chicken. You don't have to put do too much to it. I mean, I just want to say one thing, guys, and uh, I mean to, to kind of just sum it up. I've been vindicated. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I I ch picked Chick Fil A this whole time. I've been trying to tell you guys. All right, you guys, give us a huge thumbs up, a like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Huge shout out to Benson. Please let us know in the comment section below. Number one where your favorite chicken tenders are uh, from, even if they're from a bag, just name out the brand of the bag at the supermarket, just whatever. tell us what your favorite chicken tenders are, period. And number two, please let us know another food item you would like to see us rank in our objective, scientific, unscientific method. All right guys, thanks again for watching. Shout out to Benson. This is David and Andrew from the Fun Bros. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. I feel like they, they hired someone from Japan to get their presentation on uh, point. Yeah. Okay, okay.